Hi, my name is Brent Dean. I'm a product manager for Persian Pressurization Systems. In this video, I'm going to go over the wiring of the 7500 purge system. So I provided power to the unit. I provided a positive um, to the L terminals, negative to the N or neutral terminals. Once you provide power to the L terminals, which will also um, provide power to the unit, I just haven't turned it on yet, um, all of the L terminals and the SV terminal are connected via bus. So now all three are hot. The SV has an internal contact, so if the, ener or the solenoid valve is supposed to energize, it'll close, and it's connected to our hot bus, so it will be energized. So all of the L's and the SV are on one bus, and it's all hot. Then we have all of our N's are connected on a bus or our neutrals. So the next thing we're going to do, now that I have um, connected power to my unit, is uh, wire up the solenoid valve. So the solenoid valve has two black wires on it. Um, they're polarity independent, so you can connect either black wire to um, the SV or the N terminals. So now that we have our solenoid valve wired up, the next thing that we'll do is we can put, it depends on how you want to connect your K1 contacts and your K2 contacts. What you can do is you can jump um, the power, whatever power you're bringing in to the control unit. Uh, just for this example, let's say it's 120 volts. I can jump 120 over to one of the K1 contacts and then take um, that and run it to my enclosure. So after it goes through its purging cycle, the K1 contact closes and will energize my enclosure. Now you can bring in a separate power source if you want, need 24 volts DC, but you're powering the controlling it with 120 and you don't want to jump her over, you can do that. You can bring in um, a separate power source um, to energize your enclosure. Or let's say if you have a 480, um, volts going to your enclosure, what you can do is can uh, control a contactor block with the K1 contact. So when the purging cycle completes, K1 contact closes, energizing the solenoid block and then allowing 480 into your enclosure. But for this example, we're going to use um, 120 that we're providing to the unit. So I'm just going to jump from our positive terminal blocks over to uh, the K1 contacts. Now we have the K1 contact jump, so um, we're going to have power over to K1, and we're going to do the same thing with our K2 contact. So really, um, that's, that's how you get the initial setup for uh, the 7500 wired up. Now I have power to my enclosure through the L, um, L and N contacts, my um, control unit be energized, and then I have the power jumped over to my K1 contact, which is my enclosure power contact, and my K2 contact, which is an alarm contact. So, as of now, all I would have to do would be to wire up my enclosure. I would just take a wire from K1 to my enclosure and then wire it back up to one of my neutral terminal blocks. Same thing with my alarm contact. I would just take um, the K2 contact to my alarm and then bring it back and connect it to the neutral. Thank you for taking the time to watch this how-to video. In the comments section below, please find the other links to our um, instructional videos on the 7500 purge system. Also, please like and share our YouTube channel.